Hey, what's up? In this video, I'll be showing you how to find the shutter count for your camera. Now, shutter count is very important when you're shopping around or when you want to sell your camera to let the other person know how much life your camera still has. So for example, my Canon is about uh, 20,000 actuations or shutter counts and it can go for up to 500,000. So it still has a lot of life, 500,000 maximum or right around there, it'll start getting problems. But now it's still at like 20,000. Now this is very important whenever you're shopping for one when you want to get a new camera secondhand, you want to make sure that you check out these issues because you might look on the outside and it might look really nice and no, not many scruffs and anything, but it doesn't tell you much about what's happening inside. So we want to know about the mechanical parts inside, what's been happening with the actuators inside and how much life it still has. Now, there's a lot of videos out there explaining how to do it. I went through a lot of them when I was trying to find mine, but this method is the one that I found most useful because it was less, less hassle, more trustworthy. I think before I did this, I spent about 20 bucks trying out other methods which did not work at all. All I can say is you'll need to get a USB that connects to your computer, then install software to, in to check that shutter count, and only then can you get that shutter count. I've tried to do it wirelessly through um, apps and all that, uh, trust me, you want to just do it off your computer then that way that software is on your computer and you get, you get that information because that didn't work for me to do it on mobile. So what you want to do then is grab your computer, whatever, if you're a Mac, Apple, go on the App Store and type in shutter count in the search bar. So there's a couple of options that are going to come up. You want to make sure that you pick up the one that says shutter count, the original, which has this like sort of nice, nice funky um, screen on it, which is that first one. And when you go into it, you'll see the author of it is Dia Studio, D-I-R Studio, and it says the original, really good ratings, 4.7, and it's number two, like in the charts and photo and video apps. So that's pretty good. When you install it, so when you open it up and connect your camera to the computer via USB, it's going to show you the your model, which is mine is the Canon EOS 1DX Mark II, show you the serial number and the shutter count. And as you can see, mine's like 25,836, only 6% of the life of my camera, which is still, still pretty good. Like for a camera that's about almost four years old, mine's still in really good nick. So that gives me a really good indication as to what's going on with my camera and how much life is left in it. To put it simply, it's almost like the battery life on in any secondhand phone that you buy or something like that, you know, the charge cycles and all that. That's a really good thing to check out. I mean, this app only costs you about $10, but that will take out all the headache and stress of downloading many softwares and trying them out, free ones. Nothing's really for free because all that stuff has got my way. So you want to make sure that you're using something trustworthy and something that works the first time around. Now I'll use this on ca Canon cameras. I haven't used it on other cameras, so it might work for other models. You want to probably check out um, their description and it'll tell you like which cameras it works for, but these guys are pretty good. And that's been a really good system for me to use to check the shutter count. So check it out. Hope it helps. If you have any issues, any questions, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time. See ya.